Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking the Dreaded D. Rose report. Bunch of news. Got to go flying here with it. The box office numbers are in for Dwayne The Rock Johnson's latest movie, Fast Five, and the fifth installment of Fast and Furious franchise had a blockbuster opening this weekend, by far the best opening weekend of 2011 for anyone. Uh, Fast Five took on uh, took in about 86.2 million dollars in North America in its first weekend. Uh, it's also the best opening weekend, of course, for any of the Fast. Uh, Fast and Furious uh, franchise movies. Director Justin Lin, uh, who directed the last three Fast and Furious movies, are all is already planning a sixth installment, which will see Dwayne Rock Johnson reprise his role as U.S. Special Agent Hobbs. Karma, by the way, is a member of the Raw roster. WWE.com added the profile on the wrestler uh, formerly known as Awesome Kong to Raw Superstar page today. She's not however listed as a WWE diva. She's going to have to earn the right to be a diva. Karma made her uh, debut at Extreme Rules and attacking Michelle McCool following the Loser Leave WWE match. Following Night on Raw, Karma interrupted uh, the match between Kelly Kelly and Maurice, gave Maurice a lifting double underhook face buster, but left the ring without attacking Kelly. What's going on? And I thought it was an implant buster, but now it's a double underhook face buster, I guess. Meanwhile, Michelle McCool's profile has been removed from the WWE, uh, uh, been moved to the WWE alumni section. Former WWE wrestler and NWA champion Dan Severn did not acquire his 100th career MMA victory Friday in Dawson Creek, British Columbia, in Canada. The Beast suffered a TKO punch loss at four, point, uh, four uh, minutes, four seconds of the third round against Ryan Fortin uh, under the uh, King of the Cage promotion. Severn had uh, ten, fights, ten fight winning streak snapped as his record fell to 99 wins, 17 uh, losses, and seven draws, it looks like. All right, uh, Stan the Man with stopwatch hand. He says one hour, 38 minutes, 47 seconds of in-ring action at uh, WWE Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Hey, we got a little, we got over an hour and a half of solid uh, action. Now I believe the, I believe it always runs usually about two hours and a half. I believe, unless they cut matches. Uh, in comparison to the four-hour WrestleMania, though, WrestleMania only had one hour, 41 minutes six seconds of in-ring time. So there was an extra hour on WrestleMania and we only got an extra few minutes. Layla wrote the following on her Twitter account regarding their win over Shell McCool uh, at the Extreme Rules. She says, hardest thing I ever did, uh, I ever had to do was, uh, you know, win. And he says, but I, she says, I will res have respect, gratitude and love for you. Uh, talk about uh, to Michelle. Our memories stay with me forever, flawless. Love you. Uh, April 29th episode of WWE SmackDown garnered a uh, 1.96 rating, up from 1.87 from the previous week. The two-hour uh, program averaged about uh, 3.5 million viewers, which was 2.8 the week before. Got all that? Please make a note of it. Raw draftee uh, Chris Masters beat Primo in the dark match prior to Raw on uh, last night's show, Miami, Florida. Brodus Clay suffered a severe gash on his head at the Extreme, extreme Rules after being driven uh, into a ladder by Christian. Uh, the great deal of blood gushed from his head and his wound and said uh, he may have suffered a con con concussion. Now, Brodus was not pushed into a ladder. A ladder was pushed into him. Joey Styles noted uh, on his Twitter account that uh, Brodus is going to need about 12 stitches. Uh, Christian also was banged up from the match too. Word uh, coming out of Extreme Rules on Sunday is that Christian's first world title, uh, heavyweight title feud, maybe with Mark Henry. And as seen on last night's Raw, Alex Riley, believe it or not, is still with the Miz, despite being drafted to SmackDown per the storyline. Riley is assigned to a personal service contract with The Miz. Isn't that wonderful? Anyway, Ryan Skidmark, 
uh, how he's been eliminated on last night's episode of WWE Tough Enough uh, after coming up in the bottom three with uh, Christine, uh, Christina Crawford and Luke Robinson. And I think he's been there a few times in the bottom three. And The Rock's mother, uh, Mabel Johnson, and friends uh, of the Perez family, as well as ex-wife and business partner, Danny Garcia, were all sitting at ringside in, Mi in uh, Miami for The Rock's birthday. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but the celebrities during Raw that wished Rock a happy birthday in the pre-tapes uh, uh, segments were LeBron James, uh, Dwayne Wade, Dan Marino, Samuel L. Jackson, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Steve Carell, Paul Walker, Jimmy Kimmel, uh, Kara Cedric, uh, Jeremy Piven, Johnny Knoxville, Reba, uh, rather <laughs> Kelly Ripa, uh, Regis Philman, Craig Ferguson, Tyler Perry, Ellen DeGeneres, uh, George Lopez, and Ludacris. After last night's party in Miami, The Rock continued his birthday celebration by bringing out two young fans to the ring, both wearing John Cena t-shirts and hats. Uh, Rock teased uh, everyone by wearing the Cena hat, but uh, ah, but he didn't. And uh, told the fans to wear team bring it gear next time. You know they see they see him. Rock started uh, his uh, "if you smell" catchphrase and let the kids finish it for him. Probably they'll never forget something like that. All right, TNA by the way is going to be taping another episode of Impact tonight in Orlando. Robbie E. Uh, Eric Young was taped for this week's TNA Explosion, if you catch that, before the Impact taping uh, last night. Dark match before last night's taping saw Doug Williams defeat independent wrestler Sterling James Keenan. Uh, Keenan had wrestled for Ring of Honor, I guess, for a while, and uh, WWE before. And anyway, he last appeared August uh, 2007 episode of WWE SmackDown and that week's episode of Heat. Don't remember him? Forgot him already. I'm back. Uh, Jim Ross noted on his, uh, let's look at my chair situated here. Uh, Jim Ross noted on his Twitter that uh, his dance at Extreme Rules, if you've seen that, was a tribute to the Hall of Famer Dusty Rhodes. Steve Austin wrote on his Twitter that he has uh, got his middle finger crossed for season two of uh, Tough Enough, indicating that the season next season not confirmed yet. Thought it was. Matches taped last night for. Um, Raw on uh, for superstars on uh, their website. Zack Ryder taking on Evan Bourne, Melina taking on Beth Phoenix. Big Show is going to be starring in a USA Network burn notice this summer in the new season's fourth episode. So please make a note of it. Show is going to be playing the villain named Griffin Black. WWE is going to be taping NXT and SmackDown tonight from the Amway Center, uh, Orlando, Florida, with the fallout from Extreme, Extreme Rules and William Regal's first match in weeks against uh, Jacob Novak of NXT. Advertised locally is going to be uh, Orton and Christian taking on Sheamus and Wade Barrett. I don't know what they're doing with, uh, unless uh, uh, William Regal is, is helping out in back because William is a hell of a damn wrestler, rough. But uh, haven't seen him for a while. Last episode, uh, or last night's episode of Monday Night uh, Raw kicked off with former WWE ring announcer, I love her, Lillian Garcia, center ring singing uh, Star Spangled Banner. All right, a little bit of history here. Don't hang up yet. In 1998, ECW Wrestlepalooza was held at Marietta, Georgia. Who was on it? BWO, remember them? Blue World Order. Anyway, the Blue Meanie and Super Nova took on the FBI, Little Guido and Tracy Smothers. Chris Candido and Last Lance Storm defeated the hardcore uh, chair swinging freaks, Axel Rotten and Balls Mahoney, to retain the ECW tag titles. Uh, Tommy Dreamer and the Sandman defeated the Dudley Boys. Bubba and Devon. No bully then, I guess. Rob Van Dam fought Sabu to a time limit draw to retain the ECW television title. Shane Douglas defeated Al Snow to retain the ECW world title. Odd how you think back, you know, uh, don't seem like it was that long ago. But thanks for clicking. I gotta go.